Custom fields can be used throughout JobTread to track information that's most relevant for your business. When you're in JobTread, administrators have the option to go to your settings and then to click on the Custom Fields tab. Once here, you'll see all the fields that are already in JobTread for you to collect information. However, if you'd like to add additional custom fields, you can click on any of the suggested items with the click of a button, and it's nice and easy to add those custom fields. You also can click on the Edit Custom Field option to edit what the pick list items are for that particular field. So here we have commercial, residential, other, and you can add additional options if you'd like. Now, if you'd like to create your own custom field, all you need to do is click plus custom field, and this is where you can choose the field type. Many of them are self-explanatory, but the one I'd like to point out is the pick list option. This is going to give you your drop down menu, which will have several options that you define on that custom field. So let's put a name of the custom field here, neighborhood, and then let's also add in our options. So I'm going to say A, B, C, and D, and then I'll hit enter on that last one. Make sure it's on that list. Then you also have some additional options here. So I can allow multiple values, meaning I can select more than one value whenever I go to a customer account. I also can choose to require a value. So anytime I create a new customer account, then I have to fill this one out. And then I also can choose a default value, meaning any new customer account that we create will automatically be defaulted to neighborhood A in this case. I can go ahead and create that custom field and now you'll see it on my customer account custom field list. Now custom fields can be added to customer accounts, but they can also be added to other places in JobTread. So here we have our customer contact cards and this is going to have three custom fields on it. We also have our vendor accounts and our vendor contacts. Then if we go further, you can have custom fields for your job site locations. So this will be where you collect any information pertinent to that job location. Then you also have custom fields for your jobs. So anytime you create a job in JobTread, you can then fill out this information and track that job or just gain some additional insight. And then you have your cost item custom fields. These are gonna be accessible in your cost catalog to collect more information about those cost items, but also those cost item custom fields can be shown in your job budgets as well. And then you have daily log custom fields. This is going to essentially be questions listed on daily logs that your employees will need to then fill out whenever they submit a daily log. So whenever you have custom fields, you definitely can show that information throughout JobTread, but also you can report on that data. So it's really important to have custom fields in here that is gonna help you collect that information that will give you key insights into your business. Here, let's take a look at our customer account custom fields. Those are gonna fall on our customer account. So we'll go into one of our customers. Then you'll see in the customer account, we have our custom fields listed here. You can edit them at any time. And then also we have our contact cards with our three custom fields as well. If you have any questions, contact your customer success manager, or you can email support at jobtread.com and we'll be sure to help.